I'm a Time Lord from the planet Gallifrey in the constellation of Gestopolis. I am 903 years old, and I'm the man who's going to save your life and the 6 billion people on the planet below. You got a problem with that? Um, what was it you wanted to drink? Oh. Uh... Hello team, what is up? It is Nick Nike here. Welcome to another mod review. This is the Doctor Who mod. It's actually called the Dalek mod, but I'm just gonna call it the Doctor Who mod because I wanted a mod for Doctor called Doctor Who mod and so I'm gonna call it what I want it to be called. So back off, okay? So this mod adds tons of things from the awesome show Doctor Who. If you watch any of my videos, you probably know that I'm a huge fan of Doctor Who. So we're gonna get right into this. Let's go ahead and get started with the NPCs. So these are all the friendly NPCs here. Um where you have K9. Who, if we right click on, he loves me. He loves me. I'm spawning him first because he'll fight the bad guys for me. And we have a unit personnel, which, as far as I can tell, is totally useless except to be killed. Except, K9, stop it. If K9 gets mad at you, you can just right click on him and he's your friend again. So, then we have, um, from season four, the episode Donna, we have the Adipose. This is the Partners in Crime episode where she comes back. So, we have the Adipose, which appears to be absolutely nothing except a little thing of that that walks around and does nothing. So, oh, K9, go, K9. Oh, yeah. Oh, you killed the little fat. Good job, buddy. Oh, you're just a good doggy. So, um, let's... Oops, I don't know why I'm opening up my inventory. But I do need some food, so let's go ahead and get myself some pumpkin pie. Because pumpkin pie is freaking awesome, right? I know. So let's go ahead and eat this pumpkin pie real fast. Let's get back into this. Okay, these are the things that are your friends until you, you know, attack them. So we have a snowman, which actually does absolutely nothing except look at me. Really creepy. But if you get up and touch it, it will hurt you. Uh, other than that, I can't see anything else they do, personally, except that. So, except when they die, they drop 10 snowballs. So, yay, snowballs. That's always a good thing to have more snowballs. So, oops, I don't know why you're in there. Then we have the Ice Warriors, which um, haven't been in the new show. Wait, wait, yes, they have. Yes, they have. They were in the in an episode in Season 7, Series 7, this last year. So, they have been in the new show. but So, they're totally friendly. They're nice guys until you attack them. Then they go out all mad, and they're all angry and stuff and they drop ice when they die so now we have four pieces of ice so then we have the weepy angels probably the most horrifying new thing of the new series doctor Who. and last time i was messing with it my little troll getting into work so best of luck here i suppose so if we run away it should see it's not moving again uh it doesn't like me and so if i run really far away will you move see it should be moving i think it rotated they turn um torches and um, into levers i think they're just levers when they burn out, no, they're actually torches that are burn out. Interesting, because um, in the show, whenever um, they they turn out the lights and can mess with um, electricity whenever they feel like it in the show. So, whenever it becomes convenient for the plot. <laughs> um, so he does not appear to want to chase us. Maybe he'll, maybe he'll um have a change of attitude later. I'll probably turn around. He'll probably freak me out. Just remember, guys, don't blink. So we have um two Cybermen here. So we have Cybermen and Cybermen two. Um, this is the Cyberman on the right from the new series. The one on the left is one of the ones from the old series. Um, we actually got a different Cyberman in the latest, um, series, series 7. So, they drop steel ingots when they die, which is something special added in the mod, but I'll get to that soon. This is a Cyber Leader. Yeah, that's another steel ingot. So, then we have the Autons. This is an empty NPC, which is... Oh my gosh, it says the dialogue! That's creepy! Stop it! Stop it, stop it! Stop it. Okay. I am no! My mommy. Jack's your mommy! He's probably your mommy. He's probably your dad, at least. I mean, that guy. I mean, come on. I it was probably mommy. Jack. Stop it! Stop it! Ah, die, kid! So these guys actually have a pretty sweet feature, which I totally forgot to show you. Um, let's sacrifice the guy here in the inn, the sleepy slug inn, the barkeeper over here. So we're gonna I throw the um, child back there and run away. And, okay, should be good. So he's attacking the NPC, and as um, zombies would, the NPC will now, boom, turn into the empty NPC where he wears a gas mask, and now they're all creepy. And as far as I know, there's no way to um, use the weird um, Healy things and fix that. This is the Clockwork Droid, which I don't know anything about these um, from the old series, from the old show. They might have been in the old show, uh, but I know they showed up in the new show in that episode with... Uh, Madame de Pompadour. Now we have the Daleks, which I'm not going to get into every type of Dalek, because I... I kind of wanted to, but they all kind of become the same. 
So let's grab out a few of the unique ones. Um, I kind of tried going through them once. I tried doing this video once and it failed. Whoa! Weeping Angel, where'd it go? Do you see the Weeping Angel? Is it by the end? Oh boy. So Weeping Angel on the loose, guys. So, so this is, uh, uh, I don't remember what that was. I believe that was a special weapons Dalek. They dropped Dalekanium. So, um, and then we have the Supreme Dalek. Which, they did have dialogue. Hey, they're not hurting me for some reason. Um, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. They were hurting me earlier when I was testing. Okay, Renegade Dalek. Um, shoot me. Have dialogue. Okay, Renegade Daleks do nothing. Oh, oh, dialogue. There you go. There's a classic Dalek for you. All right, special weapons Dalek, um, which look like a bunker. Vicious thing. Okay, fight me. Fight me. Whoa! No! Was not expecting that. Bad Dalek! Bad, bad Dalek! Okay, here's a... Oh, wow, that was freaky. Here's a stone Dalek, which I'm guessing is the one from the end of Series 5 with Matt Smith, I guess. After the whole, um, stone hench thing. Don't kill me. I'm almost dead. I'm almost dead. Let's go. Then we have the movie Dalek. That's the one that the Dalek. So... Kind of the same deal, 60s Dalek, which um, is like the, how the Daleks looked originally, I believe. And uh, let's go ahead and pull out some more Daleks here. So here's some of the itchings, the strategist Dalek, which is like the TARDIS color. Go on, we're getting to the TARDIS, guys. Come on, shoot me. At? Okay, he's just going to have to die, because you're dumb. All right, then we have a marine Dalek. If you throw one of these guys on land, they will not move. But if we run over here to the water and throw one in, they will actually go around. So, and go ahead, fight me. Maybe they don't fight. I don't remember now. And so, they die and they drop ink sacks. So, they actually drop three. That's, that's not bad. Alright, so we're going to get a little bit out of the way because I'm guessing you all know what it's going to do. I haven't tried it yet, but I have a pretty good idea what's going to happen. Yeah, his TNT is strapped to him. Probably make a creeper explosion. Alright. Do your thing. Maybe he's not a light creeper. Oh! Whoa! Look at that crater! Look at that crater! What the heck? Oh, I know what that is. That crater! It was like... What the heck? There was a huge crater left. Did you guys see that? It was like freaking massive. That was surprising. Okay, um, that was huge. What the heck? That's like at least four pieces of TNT. Oh, look, I'm getting achievements again because Minecraft can't seem to keep track of those. What the heck, game? Why would you do that to me, this mod? Why? Why, why? That was vicious, cruel, and unusual torture there. Oh my gosh. It just, like, took out half the universe. <sighs> okay, Ender Dalek. Which are kind of like Endermen, except Daleks. They're not... They're like Endermen. That's, that's... So let's get on to the tools and stuff. So here we have the 12th Doctor, which is, I guess is just like a hat we can put on. Kind of like the other ones. Actually, we can't put it on. So, um... Which, I don't know if this is supposed to be Peter Capaldi or not. I don't know if this is before. Oh! It's a statue! And one of his legs looks funny. Is that supposed to be like that? I think it is supposed to be Peter Capaldi. Kinda, it kind of has a general look. I think it is supposed to be him, actually. I didn't think it was when I was holding the head. But there is Peter Capaldi, um, the 12th Doctor, I think. And he looks great. Good job. So, I don't know what's up with his leg, though. That's a little weird. So then we have Bessie, which belonged to John Pruity, the third Doctor, who spent a lot of time um, driving his lovely car around. I was just watching the uh, Five Doctors the other day. That That's um, special. Not really, I don't know if it's a special, just really an episode. Um, Bessie, I realized, um, this was in an older version of the mod, the last version, so I don't know if it's working or not, for sure, but um, she had this issue where if you got out, yep, it teleports you back to where you started. Don't know why, but it, it's pretty sweet. Uh, hopefully that'll get fixed very soon. All right, let's get on to the next mob in this mod, um, and that is the Ironside, which is another type of Dalek here. <laughs> These Ironsides showed up in that episode, I believe in Series 5 with Winston Churchill. 
um, where these are created, and they're all nice and friendly, but as soon as you recognize that they're a dollar, they come at you and kill you. And they're wicked evil things, so they're just another Dalek, basically. But they're they're not they're um a neutral Dalek until you attack them, so it's kinda nice. So then we're gonna get on to the cool part of this mod. I don't know what the key does, to be honest. I'll probably figure that someday. And that is the TARDIS, and not the block version. I guess the NT version is an old version of it, um, which has been left in the game. You can see it here. Don't spot in this one, the 813. Spot in the 822 version if you're using too many items. So now we're in our own TARDIS, which I don't believe was an attempt to model after any other TARDIS, because it looks nothing like any other TARDIS, which is fine. I like how it looks. Um, I don't think he was trying to replicate any other TARDIS. It looks good, though. I love it. This TARDIS. So I could play Minecraft in this. Minecraft. The, the Minecraft Doctor. That would be me. So. And then if we go down here. I love this part. I love this part. Okay. This is going to kind of disappoint some of you. This is all there is. But I am seeing that he's going to build in like maybe a custom generator in this. So we could have an infinite TARDIS. That would be amazing. I'm totally expecting that. So no pressure guy. But there's also some diamond down here. So if you felt like looting some diamond. Have at it. Woohoo. Alright. So then we got up here. There's a TARDIS. Um. Remember when you're getting in and out of the TARDIS, you got to right click. Oh, there's an emerald block there we could steal too. You got to right click on the bottom half. Um, so we can actually walk out here into the void. I almost fell off the edge here. There's a diamond block there. Interesting. So I believe this will just kill us if we dive off, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, in the last version, this was black, I believe. So I guess they changed it probably because of the journey to the center of the TARDIS episode. They changed it into white. The guy that was making this mod. So right click on the bottom half of that door, and we're sent back here to the world. That's it for the TARDIS. I think that TARDIS is sweet. So, then we have our sonic screwdrivers. Uh, the first is our sonic blaster, which doesn't really appear to do anything. Then, this is brand new in the last update, is the 11th Doctor Sonic has actually a better model now. So, you can see, it makes it annoying. Um, it's not that annoying, I don't think, but lots of people find it annoying. Um, it makes sonic screwdriver sounds. And sonic blaster is kind of cool. It just breaks blocks. Um, and it doesn't, it does take damage, so, unlike the other ones, so, it has to recharge its batteries, remember. So, we need to put up some cabinets, though. We got a sonic screwdriver, so, that's good. Um, the blaster, I think it'd be a cool feature, like, if it stored the blocks that you're breaking inside of it, and then you can place them down. That would be a really cool feature, I forgot about it. Um, the screwdrivers aren't entirely useless, um, just to let you know, in case you were thinking that. So, what we can do is bring out some redstone here. Let's, um, go over here, and we'll just... Use the library for this. Uh, we bring out some redstone. And we'll, um, we'll see how far it goes. I know this powers redstone. So, you can't actually see it light up. But what we can do to test it out is put... Um, what can we put on the end? What can we put? Let's just do TNT. TNT is good. So, um, will it travel? We'll, we'll spread it out. See how many blocks it travels. So, that's... Okay, that is at least 15 blocks. So, nope. Let's break a few. Nope. No. No, still, okay. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five. Nothing, nothing still. Four. No. Three. Oh, I just lit the TNT manually. Oops. Whoops, Daisy. Uh, I know it's supposed to power redstone, so let's give it another go here. Um, maybe it only does one block, and... Which is still cool. I mean, not don't get me wrong. It's still really cool. And what you could do, I guess, is just flip over here. Grab out. Where's the bed? Where's the bed? I always look for the bed, and that's how I find it. Repeater. Okay. You could just flop in a repeater right here. And then light up TNT that way. So, don't worry. It's a world backup. I'm not destroying my world, really. So, all right. So, we have our cool sonic screwdrivers. Um, those are freaking awesome. So, I'm just going to keep um, this one on me. This my 10th Doctor sonic screwdriver. And because look, I'm wearing. Oh, you can't even see it because I'm all dressed up. I'm wearing the 10th Doctor's outfit, season three blue suit. So now let's move on to these. I think this is actually cooler than the TARDIS, the Time Vortex Manipulator. So I, can't, I did not mean to actually use that yet, but okay, we're totally using it. So this brings us to the separate dimension. Um, the Time Vortex Manipulator is something where you can teleport um, yourself in time without using a TARDIS. It's cheap time travel. Apparently, it's addictive. Um, so I think this is cute, because it teleports you back in time to Beta, or Al not Beta, Alpha, and or maybe Indev even, I don't know like how far back this is, but it looks super familiar to me, so I love it, and it's tons of sheep everywhere, if you kill some sheep, um, I believe it just it's the experience system, you get levels from killing these guys, so, which is freaking awesome. Apparently, in the last update, there was, um, he added this cave game, 
And I have not been able to figure that out. I've ran into the caves and done everything I know. But I have not been able to figure out the cave game, so I'm sorry about that. Um, we also added this Ace's baseball bat, and I believe this belongs to Ace, which was, I think, the last companion of the show for the seventh Doctor, the original show, not the new show. Um, I believe that's who Ace was, but I never really, um, watched the end of that, the old show, because I kind of lost interest around the sixth Doctor. He was pretty good, but I, it wasn't for me, really, so. Um, this does work like the Nether, just to let you know, so if you run there in this world, you also get moved in this world, so. Which is actually going to be a problem, because... I don't know my way back now. That was a brilliant idea. All right, we are going back. One thing I did realize while playing around that other dimension, which I hope kind of gets changed, is that um, there's not mushrooms that spawn ridiculously in the caves, which happened in the old version of Minecraft. So, now let's get on to clothing, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and grab out. I kind of tried to organize them by doctor. Um, I gave this to the ninth doctor because he didn't have an item. So let's go ahead and grab out these. These are for the twelfth doctor. So let's undress here. And man, my inventory. Okay, let's throw some crap in here. So blah blah blah. All right, sweet. All right, take off that and put these clothes up here. Okay, so sweet. So we put on this and this, and now we're wearing the twelfth doctor stuff, which is a fez and a bow tie. Which actually, if David Tennant in this outfit would have worn a bow tie, it would not have looked bad. The only time he wore it was where when he wore his black suit, like in the Voyage of the Damned episode and such. So if he would have worn this, it would have looked pretty pretty sweet. Um, I would not have minded that. Would, you should try that out, man. You should try it out next time you're the doctor. Maybe in the special, he'll put on one of Matt Smith's bow ties. That'll be funny. If he does. Hey, if that happens, I'm just gonna take credit and say I called it, cause that would be really cool if it happened. So, all right, let's go about some glasses. Now, this is the um, Ted Doctor's regular glasses, which are honestly in this mod are t a bit too thick for me. But there's not really a better way to do it unless you're gonna use a really high resolution texture, which he can actually do nowadays, uh, which would be sweet. So, and then there's the 3D glasses, which I think look pretty good. The, the big border doesn't bother me much, probably because it's white. Um, not sure why, it just looks different and doesn't bother me as much. So, uh, which looks pretty sweet. I wish, kind of like when you're in this view, it would actually, like, show the world in, like, 3D. And, like, or if it would automatically switch you to 3D in an allograph uh, mode, if when you put those on, that would be really cool. Um, so, let's go ahead and throw those back in there. The Ninth Doctor added a gas mask, um, which wasn't really his, but it, it was his episode, so I gave it to him, so... Which is pretty sweet. Um, we already kind of got to see those in action. Um, I wonder if, like... Oh, I have an idea. I haven't actually tested this. What if someone, like, throws down a potion of poison on you? Nope! You're still poison. Still poison. Okay. Never mind. That'd be a cool feature. I'm I'm giving you a ton of cool features, Mod Maker. I'm not really that brilliant, so... Anyhow, so those are cool. We have the 7th Doctor's um, hat here and the 4th Doctor's scarf, which I'll get to check them out both at once. Which... Oh, my gosh! The 10th Doctor should have worn a scarf! That would have been cool! Maybe not this scarf in particular, but... Um, this is a... This looks pretty sweet. And the hat doesn't really do it. Um, it kind of looks like the fifth Doctor's hat, too. I guess they all... <coughs> Peter Davis and, um... Whatever the seventh Doctor's name was. Sylvester McCoy? Was that it? I don't remember his name now. I guess they're kind of, um... They have kind of the same hat, I guess. I never thought about it. But, so... I can't remember the... I can't remember if it was Sylvester McCoy. I can't remember this, that doctor's name. So, sorry, 7th Doctor. I didn't really watch your episodes that much, so. Alright, then this mod also adds Dalekanium and Steel. You get Dalekanium from killing the Cybermen and from killing the Daleks and um, Steel from killing the Cybermen, as you already know. So, I forgot to throw down a craft table. And this is just armor, just like regular armor in the game. Uh, that's how you craft it. So, Steel Boots. Like so. And then we'll plop all four of those on. And now we're like... a. Cyber Dalek! Yeah, that's a, that's a thing. It's totally a thing. Yeah, it is. Okay. And, yeah. So, I'm going to take these clothes off because they don't really suit me. And let's go ahead and just um, clear my inventory. No, that was creative mode. Clear my inventory out. And go back here. Let's grab some glasses. Let's grab um, the scarf. We'll grab... That's it, I guess. Put on those. And... Yeah! Okay, actually, I think instead of wearing the glasses, uh, let's go back in here. So I'm already the 10th Doctor. I'm only wearing something here, so I can't wear the same thing. Let's go out the Fez and we'll try on this. So now we have our customized Doctor. We're basically our own thing now. We'll go back into the TARDIS and we'll fly away. Apparently, in the next update of this, which I'll probably do an update video, there is going to be TARDIS travel. We're going to be able to go to a new planet, which will be freaking awesome. 
I'm super excited. This is awesome. There's another Doctor Who mod that's coming out um, in November also, which looks freaking amazing. Oh, this is such cool. This is so cool. I love it. I love it. I love it. So thank you, Mod Maker, for making this amazing mod. Hopefully, I've been able to send people your way to check out your mod. And um, hopefully, it blows up and becomes freaking awesome like it already is. Maybe you'll add some more features to it, which would be sweet. And I, I'm just loving it right now. So, um, yeah. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, mod review. If you have... Remember to check out the links in the description below. Go check out the mod. Show that mod uh, maker your support, guys. Um, tell him he's freaking awesome. This is an amazing mod. And that you made Nick's day freaking amazing. Guys, subscribe to join the team. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. So thank you all, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye! Oh man, back off. I haven't even started the video yet. Stop it!